beginning of time, humans have sought higher grounds for many reasons. Maybe they were escaping floods or looking for more clarity in their road ahead. These days, we're flooded with information and the path ahead isn't so clear. So we have an opportunity here to seek higher grounds within ourselves to escape these floods of information and find a place of quietude within us. A lot of times that requires moving away from your day-to-day -day experiences and going to an immersion and a retreat that takes you into nature. And that's what we do when we travel to the Art of Living Retreat Center. So we go to the very top of the heavenly mountain and immerse ourselves into the studies that we've already begun as teachers. In this environment, it's so conducive to that inward journey and clearing out the clutter in our lives. We practice, do breath work, meditation, and yoga, which helps create the space in our life so that we can make wiser decisions and step out of that overreactive emotional state that we tend to get mm -hmm. caught in. And we've just gone through, all of us, a very transformative year. It's, um, it's a perfect time to uh, explore where you are now, what that means to you as an individual practicing yoga on your spiritual path, and also what that means as a teacher. The intention of this week immersion is to find higher ground for your teaching. So let's talk about asana, the physical practice of yoga, the postures, and dive into the possibilities that your practice could go a little deeper, uh, become a little more expansive, explore new experiences of the asana practice itself. Within the movement and alignment world, there's always new ideas and concepts out there of what is the right and wrong things to do. And so we will explore a more individualized approach into these asana practices and really feel around within our own body to understand what your true north is in the practice or what is the best options for you. Ryan and I uh, teach in similar ways that are very focused on the alignment of the postures, but also allow you to move into a higher level of flow, of vinyasa practice, where you know so innately what the practice is that you can allow your body to just move through the flow in a more meditative way form without concentrating at times on every single detail. We'll have those experiences up in the mountains because this environment certainly calls for that. In a typical practice, we're exploring all the dimensions of our reality. We're exploring the physical dimension through our body, exploring the alignment, the different shapes, relieving tension. And then we go a little deeper, feeling the energetic side of the practice and allowing thoughts, emotions to arise as a cleansing process. Then we go even deeper and find stillness within the movement. Right, and when you go to those deepest layers, then it starts to expand even beyond um, your physical outline of your body, you start to connect uh, with more universal aspects of your being. So this is a wonderful dance with consciousness, with, um, with love and uh, compassion, which is all in the studies of yoga. It really doesn't matter where you are in your journey the most important thing there is, is to come back to love and surrender into that. And so when seeking higher ground in your life, 
come back to this place within you of love. Our daily routine would include waking up early in the morning. Some mornings we may do sunrise yoga. And from there going into philosophy and posture clinics as we call them, uh, diving deep into the details of the postures. We'll also go on a mountain hike and explore the Blue Ridge Mountains one afternoon and have um, just a total nature and yoga experience. In common, a common theme amongst everyone's experience is a very focused and tranquil environment to dive deep into these studies. But above all, we're coming together and having fun. We're letting go mm -hmm. of our daily lives and coming back to that childlike wonder that some of us have kind of lost along the way, but it is not forgotten and it's easily remembered, especially up on Heavenly Mountain.